heat. Good day to head off to the Scarity Lake and just kind of take in the cooler temperatures in the morning hours. Look at that white to light colored clothing. So he knows how to dress for the heat. A little bike ride, nothing too strenuous out there. And again, a nice shot from over there. And we're going to continue to see those temperatures really increase across the area. Our newest, newest meteorologist joins us, Katie Frazier. Welcome in the weather lab. Good to have you. And and welcome to the heat of El Paso, although you're from Vegas, so you're kind of used to this, right? <laughs> That's right. It's quite hot in Vegas most of the year. But uh, yeah, so in El Paso, this is actually the hottest day of the year, so we could check out our Storm Track WeatherNet site, sponsored by Mattress Firm. New Mexico Farm and Ranch sitting at 106 right now, so very hot over there. Anthony, New Mexico, 105. Fabens Elementary School 105 as well. So it is quite hot around the area and the heat is going to continue for the next couple hours and the next couple days. So over to you, Dr. Dave. Yeah, I mean, it's going to continue to be very hot as we've been talking about. And if you look at our planner, 100 at 7 o'clock, 9 o'clock at 92. And by 11 o'clock, we'll be at 86. Winds aren't going to be much of an issue. And you notice tomorrow morning, if you do have any work to do outdoors, myself included, you're going to be out early, you know, sunrise, run around 6 o'clock and take advantage of the cooler temperatures. 95 already by lunchtime and then 104 anticipated by 5 o'clock. Now, if you look at the next seven days, yeah, very hot by your Friday, Saturday, even into the upcoming weekend, Sunday. A little bit of a cool down as we make our way into early next week. These are the records and we're forecasting a record setting day tomorrow at 106, tying a record on Saturday and then you notice once we head into Sunday just below record high temperatures and uh, then we're going to be in the upper 90s still very hot early next week but we're going to bring in some clouds a little moisture so that will set the stage for maybe an isolated shower or thunderstorm we can only hope right with all this heat and all the dry conditions we've been experiencing so here's a look at five o'clock tomorrow evening skies will be clear no problems tomorrow but you will notice once we head into Saturday this model run now Updating, bringing in a few isolated showers and storms. We'll watch this on Friday, on Saturday at 5 o'clock. Notice here, we see some of these isolated showers developing. Some could impact Doniana County, El Paso County, but I know you have a lot of activities going on with graduations taking place, maybe graduation parties that you have uh, planned. But uh, again, these are just going to be some isolated activity that will develop. The story is just going to be the heat throughout the afternoon and evening hours. So I know a lot of you folks will have plenty of water on tap for everybody and some shade. The heavier storms expected to be to our east, well, to our east and northeast, so out of the entire viewing area as far as the weekend. All right, here's your rain chances, and the rain chances will stay pretty consistent once we head into late Saturday, Sunday, Monday, even into next week. Enough daytime heating, just enough moisture in place to see some of these storms to pop here and there. Look at the temperatures tomorrow. We are looking at 106, 107, 108 across town, even Doniana County. Those temperatures are going to be very hot throughout that area. Here's your seven day forecast 106 on Saturday, 104. First alert will continue really each and every day into the weekend. There's your chance for some rain at right around 10%. We'll be back with more news for you after this.